Begin by first understanding how the vacuum box should be positioned in the machine and the reasons for doing so. When a vacuum box meets the plastic, an airtight seal is created around the edge of the box. This allows the air to be vacuumed out, stretching and forming the plastic into the shape of the mold. To help achieve this, it's important to stretch the plastic around the edge so position the box at least an inch and five eighths from the line of plastic. The outside of the box should be distance a minimum of inch and a quarter from the frame. The thicker the plastic gauge, the more distance required from the box to the frame. First determine the size of the Unistrut rails required for the box and cut to size. Then, attach the self-aligning brackets with the spring nuts that have been provided. Mark the clamping frame for the positions of the unistrut, keeping in mind the distancing discussed earlier. Attach the unit strut pieces into place, being sure to keep the frame as flush to itself as possible. It's important to make sure everything has been tightened. After installing the unit strut cross pieces, raise the table, then measure from the top of the table to the top of the clamping frame. This will give the height for the vacuum box. Determine what the difference will be and space the vacuum box accordingly with 2x4 pieces. After attaching the pieces, place the vacuum box into the machine. Raise the table to fine tune and finalize the vacuum box's position within the frame. Measure for accuracy. Then. Lower the table and slide the angle brackets into position and tighten. Next, screw the box into place. Secure the hose and the machine is ready to begin forming. <laughs> 